Rivals of Ether 2 drops in about two weeks with the 10 character base roster, leaving one question on everyone's mind. Who will join the cast next? I've combed through tons of dev streams, producer chats, and talked with lots of community members to get their takes. And while this video does require a good bit of speculation, I think I've gotten enough clues so that we can piece together a rough draft for the game's future. Let's get some quick rules out of the way first. The devs have stated that as long as the game is successful, their goal is to bring back Rivals 1's entire cast, minus the guest characters. I kind of personally think they both have a good chance of coming back, but we'll put a red X over them for now, symbolizing them not returning to Rivals 2. Our second rule should be noting our Rivals 2 base cast. I'll go ahead and put green circles on all the characters already confirmed for Rivals 2. Now, next up, let's look at who we know won't be launching in the early game. In a discussion with Brian Heron, Offbrand's lead publisher, hosted by Wisely on his YouTube, which I'll leave in the comments below. The Offbrand game publishing team stated that they're looking at how troublesome some characters are to play against. Factoring this into their launch order, which would probably mean Eliana will take a back seat and launch later in the game's life cycle, so we'll go ahead and highlight her in red, showing that she probably won't be coming out anytime soon. Hodan and Palm also have a track record for being disliked by the community, but I imagine one of them might show up a little earlier in the game's life cycle to round out the cast. I think Palm's float makes her similar to Peach and makes her a great candidate to come out a little bit closer to launch, so we'll mark her in yellow for coming out midway through the game's life cycle, and Hodan in red for probably coming out a little bit later in the game's life cycle. I'm personally really bummed to put him here because I think he's really cool, and I'm crossing my fingers I'm wrong on this one. For our third rule, we should keep in mind that the dev team wants a diverse roster. This means the dev team will probably want a similar amount of fire, air, earth, and water characters, as well as wanting to avoid launching lots of zoners or grapplers all within quick succession. This leads me to believe that we probably won't get a new fire elemental character within our first few newcomers, so I'll go ahead and mark Malo as coming out a little later in the game's development, even though the dev team has talked about him a little bit more than other characters. They've said things like they're worried about player feedback to him, and they've shared a few details about him having a flare gun in his new design to keep the rating down. With our rules out of the way, and a few characters already sorted, let's think about who has a good chance of showing up early in the game's life cycle. I've picked a wind, earth, and water character that I think fits our criteria and are all fan favorites that I've heard many players are hoping to return. I'm not sure what order these three will launch in, but I imagine they'll come out within the first few returning characters. So we'll highlight these in green. Absa is a fan favorite floaty with great zoning and trapping tools, and a massive double jump. She's not frustrating to fight, but she fills out her role as an early DLC zoner. Her big moves and unique movement should bring a unique playstyle to the game. Our early returning water character might have already been guessed by those playing close attention. We've already ruled out Hodan as coming back early, and Orkane and Rano are already in the game, leaving Edelis. His movement is super unique since he's able to slip and slide on his ice. He's always been a distinct heavy when it comes to the rival's cast since his moves function a lot differently than Krag's. I think he'd help round up the game's heavyweight class super nicely. This makes choosing an earth fighter a lot easier since we've already had a heavyweight added in our early game DLC. Instead of the heavy Sylvanos, I think that we'll get Olympia as our brawler for the early game. Our only brawler currently is Zetterburn, since everyone else fits more into a rushdown, heavyweight, or trapper playstyle. And while brawlers are slower than rushdown fighters, they still pack a big punch and are enjoyed by a large amount of the player base. I think adding Olympia would give these players another character to gravitate towards. That wraps up our early game characters. However, before we wrap up this segment of the video, I did want to add in that the Rivals 2 dev team has mentioned that within the first five or so DLC characters, about half of them will be newcomers, meaning they're not in the Rivals 1 base cast. We also know that Dan Farnese designed one of these characters, so expect a weird character, kind of similar to Orkane or maybe Eliana. We also know from Dan Farnese that Lorena will be chosen to be character number 15 through 20. I imagine that Absa, Edelis, and Olympia will all launch in conjunction with two to three newcomers, and then we'll get Lorena bringing us into our mid-game development stage. These mid-game characters will probably be a little more niche than the early game characters, but if you're a big fan of these, don't lose hope. This video is mostly speculation, and I could imagine any of these characters releasing in the place of any of our early game characters. Following the same ideas we followed with the early cast, I've picked out a diverse handful of friends to join our roster, starting with Malo. 
At this point, the game's probably around two years or so old, which seems kind of weird to say now. So the players who aren't in for the long haul have probably slowed down with the game already. I think this is probably the perfect time to add a more advanced, tricky character like Malo. Next up, let's add Palm. As mentioned earlier, her float mechanic is super similar to Peach, and I think this would draw in players on their way out the door. Hopefully shields tune down her zoning potential and keep her in check. I can imagine Sylvanos fitting in with this group, since he'd bring a new playstyle to the previously added heavyweights. I really wanted to include him early in the DLC portion of the video, since its design has so much depth and interest, and I could imagine him and Edelus changing places in the launch order. However, this seems a little bit more likely to me. That leaves us with our final two characters. We've already marked them in red, Eliana and Hodan. However, I imagine we'll be seeing some original and new characters throughout this time lineup, so let's take a rapid fire peek at a few Ethereum fighters that might get added. First up, let's check out some characters from Rivals 1 that have a good potential of being a fighter. Bradshaw is Raster's best friend, and he kind of feels like the Luigi of the Air Armada. I imagine he could be a lot quicker than Raster, but hit a lot weaker. He'd be a cool addition that would fill the personality gap of not having a more ditzy character. Another Rivals 1 character that sadly didn't make the cut is Ayala. Ayala helped Eliana build her mecha before Eliana turned it into the fighting machine it is. I imagine she could be another mecha user, and knowing how creative the Rivals team's designs are, are something I'd love to see. I'm kind of going a little bit off script here, but what if she built things mid-fight? I think she'd be really interesting. Our last notable Rivals 1 character is Rana's master and mentor. He has powers over controlling the purity of water. He can cleanse it if my memory suffices. I think this character would launch early in the game's life cycle, but since we don't know a ton about him, I probably shouldn't make any promises. I do think he'd be very interesting though, and I think that they could add some cool traps and then also keep him fast on his feet. Kind of like a foil to Arcane. Moving on to our Dungeons of Aether cast, I could see, and hope to see, all of them join the roster at some point. They all have really unique designs, and I'd love to make a video theory crafting what each of them could do. Personally, Artemis is my most wanted character, since her dungeon's gameplay revolves around damaging herself to empower her next move, but I think that Slade and Hymir could both add a lot of cool gameplay to the Rivals 2 cast, since Slade's gameplay revolves around speeding himself up, and Hymir's gameplay revolves around buffing his defenses. I think these could both be stance change type characters, and I'd like to see what they could do with them. Wrapping our speculation up, I made a quick visual guide for when I think each character will launch in Rivals 2. Remember that this is all educated speculation, and I can't be too sure of the official launch order, but I imagine I'm close on a handful of these. Let me know what you think. Did I miss any characters that you want to see added to the game, or is there any, maybe, third-party characters you'd want to see added? The game launches super soon, and all the DLC will be free, so keep your eyes peeled for more guides, online brackets, and a character selecting guide that we should have coming out within the next two weeks. In the meantime though, go ahead and check out our server, the link's in the description. Or maybe go check out some of our Rivals 2 guides, we have a whole playlist that we're always updating. If you liked this video, I know you'll like those. Until then, see you next time.